Tis the season, and all that. For the creepy, for the slimy, for the slightly unsettling. And so, I bring to you Let's Play Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet. This is a game that I did a first impressions of ages ago. It was gifted to me by one of you. I had played through the game, not just then, but I played through the entire thing after that, and I loved every second of it. And so, today, I'm bringing to you Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet. Game auto saves. good to know. This is a very interesting menu, really. I like it. If I have any complaints with this game, it's, for one, it does use Windows Live, though the Windows Live aspects of it are a little to none. You have to set up an account to play the game, after that you can kind of ignore that it exists. The only other issue I have is I really wish there was an option to let me use the hardware mouse cursor. Because there is some weird mouse acceleration going on in here, and I had to figure out how to fix it. This is a neat menu, though. I like it, because you click on one and it, like, goes in, and now the old menu is out there. And you can go, okay, I'll go over here, and it goes in another set. Advanced settings! So yeah, a lot of neat stuff. But we are here today, and I'll maybe take a look at some things, like some of the extras, the art and such, later. But instead, today, I'm simply going to play a game. There are various modes you can play in. Um, Lantern Run and Shadow Hunters are really just kind of challenge modes. Doesn't scroll up and down, no. Uh, challenge modes where you play a short level, you do what you can. The meat of the game is the campaign. I've since beat the game 100%, which I'm aiming for, by the way. But I'm gonna start new. Well, that was altogether terrible. Sup, little dude? This is our... It says inventory, but this is essentially our collection of tools, which we'll collect more of as the game goes on. Right now we have only this one which is a scanner. Activating that now lets us float about. One of which is a switch, the other of which is a switch.
So just a... Sh oh, and there it goes. Only one! Those... Those don't look like normal birds. Only one of the various light sources from the sun managed to make its way out. And it appears to have crashed near us. You look... You look terrible. This game has a very stark visual style, and I've got to say, I really like it. It's creepy without being, like, terrible. They're scanning things. We need a new tool in order to use, in order to get through that. It did say there, we could use the map, and there is indeed a map. This game is a Metroidvania, perhaps my favorite of the genres. So we got a map to explore, power-ups to grab, collectibles to get, all to take us back so we can explore more. I like these games. Now, since I'm never going to get back here, I am going to make an attempt to map out the entire little world up here the first time through. On the main... After the intro... We won't be able to get back here. And after that, I'll worry about, um... See, that looks nifty. No, I wanna scan, I wanna scan that, that thing that's shooting. Oh well. Well, this looks pleasant. Since we can't get back here after the intro, though, I'm going to, uh... I'm going to put a little bit of effort into mapping the whole thing out. Now, once we get to the rest of the game... Why can I not go up there? There's like wind or something. You can see the wind pushing down. It'd be more obvious from a different direction. Ah! As you can see here. Ah! Now, it looks like going up that way will actually take me where I need to go. No, wait, it's the next one down. Yeah! It's all creepy and wiggly and... ...pouncy. Sometimes it is a little bit hard to tell what you can collide against and what you can't, but for the most part, it doesn't matter. Like, they never ask... They never ask something of you that would make that problematic. Well, I guess we're not going back that way. This, what we just entered, was a save point. Going in saves the game and repairs your ship. Oh no, it got smacked free! It looks nice, though. I want some of that. Yeah! And now we have a second tool. This one down here is our main weapon. A gun. Straight up gun. Oh, you're gonna make me assign... numbers? There you go. Yeah! Out of the way! Coming through! You're a guy that can shoot. That's good to know. And we got a new thing telling us to go down here. Coming through, guys. You look hungry. Oh man, dudes. Ah. Uh, oh no. Only one of them survived. Quick, get some of those. Heal yourself. These little orbs will heal you. We lost one of our dudes. No, we lost the other one. Okay, I'm gonna hurry through before those things regrow. Also of note is that you are 100% safe when you're inside one of these orbs. Anything that tries to touch you just kinda dies. Psst. 
these things actually try to dodge out of the way of your shots. So if you're having trouble hitting them, stop for stop shooting at them for a second and take careful aim. Sup, little dude? You got a claw and you move things. Well, that didn't sound pleasant. Oh no! That's okay, friend. I will carry on in your place. I now have a grabby claw. And go grab things. Gotta go grab things. Ah! Oh, I can't grab the big one. I got a rock. Fear me, I have a rock. Hello, friend. I will move it with my rock. Yeah. Thank you, friend. He moved that rock out of the way so we could move this one. Now, there's not actually anything over there. It's just a small dead-end room. Whack! A uh, grabby claw. Uh-huh. And little healy orbs, which I don't need because I haven't been hit yet. You have very few hits. Really, you have... You have one spare hit. You get hit twice, you die. For now. If I can move that to do that. Oh, I totally hit you. Yeah. Oh, you're not gonna let me just take it with me? I totally got this. Got this. Hey, we've made it back out on the other side. With new tools and weaponry. Have I missed anything? I have not. Oh, we're nearing that whatever it is that we're looking for. Spoilers, it's the light orb. That fell from the sky. Ah, tentacles. All right, mapped everything out, so it's time to go in. Gotta move quick, because these things will just come back out. You're not killing them. You're just, ah. Give me that. Gimme! Gimme! And we've arrived on a new planet. Specifically, the sun, or at least what used to be the sun, before it was captured by the whatever this is. We got a map. We got a world to explore. Now that we're here, though, we will never be able to get back up here. That I know of. There's nothing up here to miss, though, other than unless you wanted to, like, map everything out. But the light orb has taken us here in hopes of eventually purging this place. So that'd be kind of cool to do. Sup. I can't kill you, can I? I can! Wow, nice. Well, I'm not going out that way.
It says to go to the left. Wow, we gotta go way over there. I'm gonna go to the right first. Because it's a dead end, don't you know? Yeah, you don't work. Ah! Do that again. Ah! It seems hungry. I say we go get it something to eat. Like a rock! Have a rock. He didn't like that much, did he? And there's a whole lot of jack-all in here. Good to know. But that's one sort of thing that we're going to be running across. We'll see more of them later. Whoa. Okay, I gotta feed you guys, right? Have a rock. Have a rock. No! Have a rock. And you! You cannot be eaten by these, by the way. They'll suck you in, but you don't fit in its mouth. Man, save points. Ah! These guys, by the way, um, they... They can get very unhappy. I didn't actually know you could kill them. Learn something new every day. You can collide against trees. Because trees. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is not going to end well for anyone. You can just get hit any time now. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill these things spewing out dudes, because... This is getting ridiculous. Anything down here? Tree? Ooh. We got collectibles. It says one of three. Once you collect three of them, you actually get a little bit of... I guess you could say story. About how this world and its... Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I need to stop fudging around. Because I have a grand total of one hit left, and then I just kind of die. Yay! Get in that, and you are healed. Now, we've actually made it through a fair bit there, but looks like there was something down here. I kind of want to go back and explore that. So I'm going to go back and explore that. As long as you guys don't spawn dudes. Whoa. Oh, getting dark down here. I guess that's it, though. Nothing down here. Merely teaching us the ways of the world. Okay. So... There we are. There's a point of interest, like, right next to me. I'm gonna go see what that is. Ooh. I'll get that, and I do believe I'll call it a day. Oh, well, you look del You look wonderful. Yeah, my gun's different color now. It's purple. And I shoot two shots. 
Now that thing down there will indeed try to eat you. However, it will also eat those. So if you wait for it to crab one of those, you can slide on by. So let's save with our fancy new gun. Look at that thing shoot. And say, until next time, everyone, we're merely on the surface of this insanely twisted shadow planet. Next time, we'll see what this world's actually made of. Until then, everyone.